Okay, let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Byron Miranda. John, you know what Vanessa did? It was so nice yesterday. What's that? She put her Peloton bike outside. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I wish. That would be a great ride. Was yesterday great? It was beautiful. Okay, today will be the same. All right, we're looking for the same temperatures in the forecast, so beautiful weather uh, today. Blue skies, and if you're going to the game, by the way, you don't have any issues. Today is going to be a perfect day for baseball. So look at the radar. It's dry right now. No umbrella necessary. Remember I told you on Monday, I said you cannot tell where a quasi-stationary front's going to be from one day to the next. But we can day of. And there it is. So it's far enough away. There's no way, even if it got in a Greyhound bus with a supercharged engine and flew up here in the, in the Greyhound, it's not getting here in time to impact us. So today, dry weather, high pressure, no worries. In fact, we're going to be above average, but it's all about the sun, the sun angle. Now, for the spring equinox, which occurs March 21st, the average high is 51 degrees. And that shows you, you're looking at it and you're going, well, okay, the angle of the sun seems to be a little bit better than when it's in winter. It's a little bit higher up, so it's going through fewer layers of the atmosphere. It's a little more focused on us. And as opposed to nine hours in winter, we pick up three hours by the 21st, of March and that takes the temperature up as we make that March to summer the high average goes to 81 degrees by the solstice which occurs June 21st and that's because of a higher sun angle you see how high the sun is up that means it's going through very few layers of the atmosphere and it's more focused and it's coming down in a strong way plus we have 15 hours so if you have 15 hours to heat up the temperatures go up it's as easy as that your upper east side temperature at this hour is 50 degrees in uh, Queens at Kew Gardens. We're at 49, low 50s Newark. If you're on Long Island right now, you see the winds are out of the north northwest at 3. That's a good sign. At 43, if we can keep the wind below 5, we're going to heat up. Now, watch the winds. It says that we're going to be below, you know, 5 miles an hour. That should take us up to Turtle Bay, 72 for a high today. Coney Island, 70. Brooklyn, uh, you're going over towards uh, Bayonne, 72, and then Oceanside, 66. 66 to 72 will be the highs today. That's the range on this uh, Thursday. Sunday, this is problematic, and watch what happens here. Uh, we're we're going to go higher than this. We're going to go probably 68 degrees because the models are indicating the low 60s, but I believe that we'll have a strong push of strong south winds, and that should take us up. 72 today, the Mets go Mets, no problems for the game today, and then 65 on Friday, maybe, and maybe even warmer on Sunday.